What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one we're going to talk about Sennheiser's new Clip Mic Digital. This thing is a fantastic option, an affordable option for those of you that have iOS devices because it is iOS dependent. Sennheiser teamed up with Apogee to create this awesome microphone and the price is around 199 USD at the time of this video. That's a much more affordable option than uh, some of those pro options that you would obviously consider if you're looking at this microphone. And before we go any further, I'm going to preface this video by saying that Sennheiser sent this microphone out to me for review. So what do you get in the box? Well, you get the obligatory documentation and quick setup guide, which I would highly recommend that you read over the quick setup guide because it is very helpful in helping you navigate the Apogee Meta Recorder and uh, Maestro applications because they can become a little bit confusing if you haven't uh, utilized audio or you don't really know a whole lot about it. These two apps are essential in making this microphone system work. Next, you get a mic clip and a windscreen which uh, are modular and separated from the microphone itself. The windscreen is washable, so that will help you keep your uh, equipment sanitary if you ever had to mic up somebody else that you weren't so sure that their hygiene was on par with yours. And finally, you get the all-in-one module, which is connected by a cord, of the ME2 microphone from Sennheiser, and this whole system is powered by Apogee's analog to digital converter. This microphone system weighs in at around four ounces, so you're not gonna have any trouble carrying it around. And giving this system juice is all comes from the lightning connector of your iOS device. Speaking of iOS devices, you must have an iPhone 5 or newer. iPad fourth generation, which is the Retina, has a lightning connector. Uh, or newer iPad mini or newer which is all of them and then uh, it will work with an iPod touch fifth generation or newer all right so I'm gonna get a little bit technical on you guys and we're gonna talk about this system in terms of specifications this system is built up of two elements the Apogee analog to digital converter and the Sennheiser ME2 microphone so you get your input you got your processing and then your output which will allow you to capture high fidelity audio on your iOS device. Utilizing Apogee's Maestro app, the Apogee analog to digital converter is capable of processing 44.1, 48.88 to, and 96 kilohertz input. Uh, the gain range within this digital converter is from zero to 35 decibels. Now onto the input end of this whole system. The ME2 by Sennheiser is an omnidirectional connector microphone, so it's going to allow you to capture some fantastic audio no matter where you place it on your subject or yourself. The frequency range on the microphone included on the clip mic digital it runs from 30 to 20,000 hertz, so it's right at the limit of where a human ear can process, well, you know, most human ears. So you're going to get a fantastic wide range of uh, lows. Uh, mids and trebles. The meta recorder is a really nice application, but it has its flaws. Let's talk a little bit about it. <laughs> Stupid cat. The first tab you're going to see is your scene. So you can capture scenes and keep things in order. And that's an absolute must if you're out, uh, you know, doing journalism or recording notes for whatever reason. Uh, this thing helps you organize your work. The record and play tab is pretty much self-explanatory. It helps you monitor your inputs and make sure you're not peaking at any moment or anything like that. Within the record and play tab, you can make markers. Utilization of markers is extremely helpful when you have long projects and you're recording for long periods of time. Within the record and play tab, you can set your record um, inputs and how you want them to be processed. So for example, if you want 24-bit 96K, you can set that on the fly. And then the settings, which are pretty much self-explanatory in the Meta Recorder app. The Maestro app by Apogee is strictly an input gain management uh, application, which allows you to go anywhere from the zero to 35 decibels that this system allows you to go. One thing about both of these applications is that it requires iOS 8 or above. So just keep that in mind. All right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into some demos. All right, so here's the demonstration portion of this video. I am in an area where there's lots of sound, you know, jets overhead and whatnot. Uh, this microphone is from the EW system, and this microphone is the Clip Mic Digital. As you can see, the capsules are exactly the same. They're both the ME2 lavalier microphone by Sennheiser. The difference is, is that this one's connected to my iPad 2, uh, iPad Air 2, and this one is connected directly into the GH4 via uh, the eighth inch adapter. So. Let's go ahead and get into this testing thing. All right, so before we get into testing this, I want to identify some elements that may differ between the systems because the microphones are exactly the same. 
The difference is, is the clip mic digital is allowing me to capture 96K uh, at 24 bit. The EW system is allowing me to capture 48, but again, it's only passing the information into the GH4. The GH4's preamp has to handle the rest, which is not going to be the greatest quality. Now, I'm about 28 to 30 meters away from my camera system. I wanted to test this in an actual environment to where there's a, uh, there's a highway over there. You know, there were some jets flying overhead, as you heard earlier. And there is this wall that has a pretty good reflectability of sound. At any rate, what did you think about this demo? You feel free to let me know in the comments down below uh, which system you prefer. Again, the Sennheiser 112 runs about 650 bucks and the Clipmic Digital is 200 bucks. All right, I wanna finish this video out by talking a little bit about pros and cons and how the Apogee applications could be improved. The pros, right off the bat, is mobility. This system is a plug and play system, no doubt, but it does require a little bit of tweaking on the fly. So you gotta understand you know, input gains and things like that. It's not too technical because the application's uh, user interfaces are extremely easy to navigate. Another element that is a, a pro, in my opinion, is the cost because it comes in at around 200 bucks. That's way cheaper than any professional system um, that available right now. Uh, the bad part about it is that it's limited to iOS devices and the ME2 is not detachable from the analog to digital converter by Apogee. Now if they had an eighth inch input on the end of this uh, system which you could detach the ME2 lavalier microphone and plug it into other systems, I think they have a winner here even if they up the price a little bit by 100 bucks. And the final element that I think is a pro is the fantastic audio quality and the adjustability. This thing is just hands down one of the best sounding systems. Now that you've been watching this video, it's been recorded in its entirety on the Clipmic Digital. So as you can hear, it's, it's absolutely awesome. And as I've said, I've identified some cons of this system. It's the first one being it's limited to iOS devices. Now I understand the schematics behind it because Apogee works primarily with OS 10 and iOS, but it would be nice if they, you know, made this microphone applicable to different systems. Not necessarily different operating systems, but like I said, if the lavalier microphone was detachable from the analog to digital converter, I think you have a winner. My second one is exactly the same as my pro is the cost. Because it's limited uh, functionality, and if you don't have an iOS device, this thing just simply won't work. And if you're shopping in this price range, you're probably considering a separate recorder, you know, like a Zoom H5 or something, because it's only 70 more dollars, and that has way more applicability across uh, a plethora of different uh, environmental needs or, you know, situational needs. Now, those are the only two actual complaints that I have for the system itself. The Meta Recorder needs some improvement from Apogee, and the first one being that it needs to be adapted and, and you know not just upscaled on iPad it needs to be adapted to iPad that's one of my first complaints and I hope Apogee sees this video and makes that update it's absolutely terrible looking on an iPad and because you're working strictly in the Maestro app it's a very tedious process in getting your finalized uh, audio off of, a, off of your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. The problem with the Maestro app is that you can do it in two ways directly from Maestro app. You can export to Dropbox or email it to yourself. And email is probably not an option if you're doing long projects because it can require huge amounts of storage if you're recording in 96K, you know, 24 bit. And they only allow you to share to Dropbox, which is just crazy. I, I didn't even have a Dropbox account before I started utilizing the Clipmic Digital, and they kind of forced me in that direction. Outside of that, if they would allow you to pull your audio directly off of the device so you could, you know, get to work as soon as possible, because a lot of people don't have a whole lot of time to sit and wait for their files to transfer over to Dropbox, then download them from Dropbox, it's just, it's just a huge pain. In addition to considering other options of pulling your audio off the device, they should include a lot of different options like you know Google Drive and uh, other things that other people use. I mean, not all of us have Dropbox. Well, that about does it for me in this one. I hope you found this video informative and it allows you to make a more educated decision if you're considering this product. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and leave me a comment down below letting me know what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel, and you aren't subscribed, feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.